Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the diamond shaped paper beads. This is our diamond shaped paper beads. It's kind of rounded and shaped like a fat diamond. So before we do that though, I would like to thank everybody that left comments on that little survey I did uh, a few days ago. I'm going to be drawing a name and whoever wins gets the turtle paper bead bracelet. So Kayla already put the names in here and here we go. It's Kathy with a C. Congratulations, Kathy. So, to continue, the diamond shaped paper beads is made by cutting two triangle strips of paper and gluing them together. The first part of the triangle is the bottom part, and it measures half an inch at the base, as you can see, and the tip is a quarter of an inch, and it should be about 16 inches long. The second part of the triangle is the tip, which measures one-fourth of an inch and tapers down to the, towards the end of the triangle or tip of the triangle. We will glue these two strips together. Instead of cutting one long triangle strip, we're cutting two strips of triangle. Now, as you can see, this is the one magazine spread. There's that, the middle part of the magazine, the spread of the magazine. Now, I'm just going to use um, ordinary white glue, Elmer's glue, and I'm going to glue these two strips together. And then you have one long triangle strip that measures two inches at the base, I'm sorry, half an inch at the base, and it is about 32 inches long. So we will then roll it with our paper bead roller. I'm just using the metal roller and what you do first is condition the paper to curl up that way. Now if you're using the bamboo roller, that's not necessary because this would go in between the two bamboo uh, the two bamboo rollers. So you're just going to put this in between your thumb and your finger and then roll it like this. If you don't get it the first time, you can do it again the second time and usually you would uh, be able to see that now it's on the roller and you can start rolling your paper strip. So you will not apply glue at this point. You will do it towards the end when you're about three inches, three inches left. So just continue doing this. So you just continue rolling and we're almost to the end of the triangle strip. It's coming out really nice. Then it's very easy to take this thing out. Uh, just take it out and you can adjust your bead at this point because it's not glued yet. So by just doing this then you're able to adjust the shape of the bead. So now you have this much left. What I'm going to do is just take my Elmer's glue or 
Elmer's glue or any white glue and just um, continue rolling it and you should coat the bead with the white glue and that way you know that it's secure before you dip it into your paper glaze. I'm going to be using the Vibrance. Uh, it comes out really nice and hard. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush this with the white glue all over and there and just make sure it's all coated with the white glue. I'm going to string it with a thread. In fact, our kit comes with this fishing line and a bead stopper. So I'm just going to take a jar or a white or a paper cup and pour the vibrance on here. So it looks like this, milky white. And I'm going to dip my bead in here like so and that should be good and take out the excess by doing this and then you will leave it to dry and dip it a couple of times more after an hour and you will have a really nice hard water resistant paper bead and there you have it